newsletter sign up with Google Capture. So let's see a quick demo. Without filling a form, I am submitting. It shows an error message. Fill out a form data. When I am putting my email address and without validating form, I am submitting. It says error message. Captcha is not validated. This time I am putting right email and uh, right uh, validating uh, validating captcha and submit it. It is thank you for signing up our newsletter. And when we check our database table, which is newsletter sign up, here is the subscriber email. So this application uh, I'm making in PHP. So let's create a uh, project and understand this functionality. So already I have a project which is Google Capture and we have some files and folders. Vendor. This is directory vendor. Composer.json and Composer.log. This files and folders we will generate using Composer command to download Google Capture library. So Google Capture and GitHub. Type on Google and click on first link. And here is the composer command to install uh, Google Capture library. So inside in inside in your project, just hold the shift key and right click from your mouse and open command window it here. And once you have opened, just paste that command and hit enter. It will automatically download and generate autoload.php file and it will automatically generate it vendor, composer.json and composer.log files. So it's downloading for me automatically. If you see this type of message, it means it means your library successfully downloaded. Once it's it down, uh, once it downloaded let's close this one and rest of files which is index.php newsletter.php and style.css this file is created by me so let's see here uh, one by one first is index.php let's drag and drop it here this is nothing but just HTML form I'm using a bootstrap to style the form so this is just this is just normal HTML let's look this is form and inside have a uh, uh, one field which is input type text and its name is email this is important right its name is important second is the captcha where we want to show our captcha in a form so i want to show uh, i want to show it here after email so i am putting this data it here so how we will get this data right this is data side key right so you need to go to google captcha and uh, click first link and go to admin panel and you have to create a new application it here and give its name right I am giving site and you have to choose recapture version 2 and uh, put it everything as uh, default and your domain name my domain name if your domain name is uh, something your domain.com and whatever your domain i am using a local host just type local host and then submit okay accept license terms and condition and submit it will generate your site key and site uh, secret key the so site key is basically this one copy and paste and the 
the secret key this key we will use inside our newsletter newsletter.php file so this is uh, this is a client side uh, integration uh, and this is a server side so this is a, uh, this is i have put it in a uh, in a html and this will i will put in a php file which is a server side uh, configuration so we have seen this one you have to copy and paste it here right so next thing is uh, create your uh, let's open a newsletter a newsletter dot php let's drag and drop it here and let it zoom in so you have to include first autoload.php file which is automatically coming from uh, automatically generated uh, while downloading package from uh, in github y composer command so vendor and autoload.php so we have autoload.php have included and then we have a class of recapture and it takes one parameter which is our site key it's a uh, secret key sorry secret key so you have to just copy this secret key and paste it here then uh, this are uh, this is just like our uh, variable uh, something like dollar underscore post and the variable name something like a uh, it's a response from Google right recapture response you don't need to change this one this variable right dollar underscore post and our variable name so the google captcha have the pre-built uh, captcha name it will automatically generate a uh, name it here and it will uh, just like email you can see name email it will automatically generate uh, this name which is a uh, g uh, minus recaptcha minus response so the uh, uh, captcha response i am putting uh, I'm storing inside a variable so the next uh, next variable is a form error and and at this time it's it uh, don't have anything in inside it's empty so first time checking uh, the some conditions of uh, uh, conditions if uh, your email is empty means you nothing uh, you your form is empty means uh, uh, just here your form your email field is empty uh, it shows a message uh, fill out a form data uh, right and if your google response right it, it means its response is not success right i have a uh, i have a method um, which is is success so this is the object of uh, Google captcha which is a capture response and it have a method which is is success if it is success uh, if it is not success here is the uh, not operator right so if it is not success right it shows the message captcha is not validated and next one is for the email validation if your email is not uh, uh, it's not uh, valid email it will show a message uh, uh, error message is invalid email if everything is okay everything is okay okay uh, I am putting a database connection it here using a mysql i it takes three uh, four parameters first is a host name uh, your username of your database and second uh, third one is the your password of your database and uh, yt tutorial this is our database name which is this one yt uh, tutorial and uh, uh, I'm getting this uh, variable which is this one dollar underscore post and email this email variable it's exactly matched to this name and I'm storing this email to an uh, variable and putting insert query uh, connection and query insert into newsletter sign up I have a file I have a a table in a database which is this one newsletter sign up and it have a two fields ID and email so ID is auto incremented so we don't need to uh, uh, need to mention it here it will automatically incremented by one so insert into newsletter sign up email 
and its a uh, value is email whatever you will type uh, it here so if uh, if the form if the subscriber uh, fill out the right information it here and uh, it's inserted inside a table of a database so it will so a message thank you for signing up our newsletter so it will show this message so this is our function which is this one sign up and I'm returning uh, form error right which is form error form error form error so this is a function it will take one parameter which is a, a, a email of our newsletter so sign up so let's go back and call include this newsletter dot uh, php file it here and uh, and uh, uh, and here we need to uh, call uh, sign up a function of our php uh, newsletter right so this is sign up if is set here is the if is set means uh, you have a put uh, your form anything means it's not empty right you are putting something it's not empty so if is set I'm calling my sign up form and it echo it because we have written uh, error which is form error your form response you can put so it will so uh, one by one thank you uh, for signing up error uh, invalid email error fill out form data something it will so so the last thing uh, I want to show you everything uh, I think uh, everything we have completed but uh, just one thing I forgot to show you uh, this file right this file uh, you have to include uh, uh, google capture api.js so how we will get this one uh, go to your recapture and click here and here is the there will be I think uh, link mm, oh yeah this one let's copy and uh, paste it here let's replace and paste and uh, make it one line control s and save and uh, refresh right sorry it's showing mess uh, error i think because uh, uh, let's check uh, copy this one and uh, paste it here and uh, here is our secret site secret secret key let's copy and uh, paste it here and refresh I think it's showing uh, error because uh, I don't know why but uh, I think uh, the problem is in a JS file right let's control Z recapture mm. okay let's Let's copy this and just paste it here. Control S and uh, refresh. Yeah, this time is uh, perfect. So uh, uh, I have forgot uh, one more file, uh, which is uh, style.css. This is last file style.css so style.css is nothing but simple uh, css uh, files and uh, uh, i'm using uh, i'm using a, a bootstrap bootstrap uh, bootstrap 3 i think bootstrap 3 this is bootstrap 3 yeah bootstrap 3 this is a bootstrap 3 i'm using and uh, it's a body color is this one and font family is font sa sans serif uh, so it's look like we have a set a marg set to margin so it will be a center like this so which is uh, this one set to margin i want to 
uh, when you are making applications uh, real applications you have to remove this one because we don't want to uh, such a uh, contain in a center right so this is set to margin and s3 its font uh, size is 23 which is this one 23 and font weight uh, this is just a normal css files uh, get action which is this file uh, get action which is means uh, this submit button i'm putting class it here get action so it looks and rectangle uh, which is rectangle is this one this one rectangle and uh, rectangle uh, which is rectangle is this one rectangle and its background is a gray gray color which is a uh, transparent so it's a uh, pretty much uh, we have finished so if you like this video please let me know what you think about this so thanks for watching and bye take care